<clears throat> Alright, so shit, I'm about to do this video to let everybody know what the fuck happened to that asteroid, bro. Like, okay, so when I first got there, that's when Master P was performing. It wasn't that many people there, so I had went, you know, I got in the crowd. We was probably like in the middle of the crowd, but we was way in the front. And as everything was happening, I just felt like I was being crushed and like I couldn't breathe and I almost like literally passed out. Like I felt like I was about to like collapse. So I started screaming and shit. So that's when like the people they seen me just because of the fact that I was in the front. So they had pulled me out, you know what I'm saying? And then I had got out and I had just stood around like not in the um the crowd no more. But that was during the daytime. So look, let me tell you something. Look. All right, so this is when Travis Scott, Travis Scott is about to hit the stage. All right. Something in my mind told me don't get in the crowd due to the fact of what happened to me earlier that day. You know what I'm saying? With the whole Master P, you know, audience and whatnot. So look, Travis Scott about to perform. It's probably like 100,000 plus people, you know, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Just standing around in the barricades. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't as bad, but something told me don't stand in the barricade. I sat on the side. You see what I'm saying? I went all the way to like the end of the line and I was like right there on the barricade, but I sat like, you know, like took a seat on it so I wouldn't be in the crowd like that. But I'm, I kid you, I kid y'all not, bro. As soon as Travis Scott started, like as soon as he started, like all the flame, the fly, the fire, the fucking like the, the Phoenix and all that shit. And then he popped out, started going crazy. And like, I'm telling you, as soon as he started going crazy, like the whole crowd started raging and shit. Everybody just screaming, help, help, help. Mind you, I'm sitting on top of the fence. So I'm looking down on everybody and I'm seeing all this shit happening. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers reaching and they crying. I'm trying to pull people out. So look, in the middle, it's a VIP section. Like different celebrities and people who pay like thousands of dollars to sit in the VIP section. I'm, mind you, I'm pulling people out and I'm trying to pull them into that VIP section. That's where like people was pulling people in so they can breathe. So the people in the damn VIP section, they getting mad, talking about why the fuck you pulling people over here in our section. I'm like, man, fuck that shit, bro. These people about to lose their motherfucking lives. You know what I'm saying? So I pull out this one boy. This boy, he probably like 14 years old. This is a little bitty teenager, bro. This one lady, I kid you not, in the fucking VIP section, literally put her hands on this boy and associated this boy and start hitting him. Like, then I tell y'all don't jump the fuck over. So I end up screaming, like, bitch, who the fuck is you to tell somebody what the fuck they can do? Like, bitch, this ain't your motherfucking concert, bitch. Don't nobody give a fuck about what motherfucking ticket you paid for. Like, these people need some fucking help. So I'm helping people. I'm pulling people out. And, like, it just felt like we was, like, literally, like, in fucking hell, bro. Like, it felt like we was in a concert in hell. You couldn't breathe. You couldn't see. Like, just imagine all the people they're going to find tonight who was in that crowd, who nobody could see, who nobody could hear, who passed out. And everybody was just trumpling on top of them the whole fucking concert. Like, I'm thinking it's probably going to be, like, at least 100 people who dead tonight, like, I kid you not, like, in the VIP section, it was so many bodies laid out. People was getting pulled out who was fainting. And the people were trying, the medics were trying to give them CPR. And they was flipping them over. And, like, they was literally turning them black and blue. Like, I never seen no, I never seen death in my fucking life, bro. Just by me alone, it was probably, like, 10 fucking people laid out dead. And, like, once the medics tried to help them, they wasn't responding. They moved to the next person. It was nothing they could have do. Like, this shit, like, this shit really fucked me up and, like, really spooked me tonight. Like, that was, like, some demonic shit. Like, and what was so crazy, like, people were screaming help, trying to tell Travis, Travis Scott. They was like, help. The whole crowd was just going, like, help, help, help. And he just kept going, bro. It was like, that shit was scary, bro. It was so demonic, bro. And mind you, y'all see the type of music I make. Y'all see everything. Like, you know, like, I've been so heavily influenced by Travis. But, like, after tonight, bro, like, God really showed me, like, you know, like, stay away from that shit, bro. Like, that shit not for you. Because, like, he sacrificed so many people's lives tonight. Like, for real. Like, so many people's lives are gone tonight. Because they wanted to go to a fucking Travis Scott concert and have fun. You know, he influenced people to be raging and all this shit. So many people broke in. And it was just chaos, bro. It was a living fucking hell, bro. Imagine seeing all those dead bodies. And that was that was just by me. And the shit got so bad, I was sitting on top of the gate. I was pulling so many people in, helping so many fucking people. And people was just screaming, crying, trying to ask for my help. I got so overwhelmed, I, I jumped down and I, I ran out that bitch and I left, bro. Like, this shit really happened tonight. And a lot of people, they, you know, hearing this shit, but like, watch tomorrow. Y'all gonna see this shit was no fucking joke. Like, this shit really happened. So many people got injured. So many people died. 
that shit was so fucking wicked, like, it was so wicked, bro. Like, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, put nothing on Travis Scott and call him Illuminati, call him no devil worship. But that what the fuck it was, bro. We really went to a concert in hell, bro. You couldn't breathe. I'm talking about everybody was so crushed up on you. It was like literally no room for you to lift your chest up and breathe. Like, you couldn't move. You couldn't do. You couldn't fucking breathe, bro. Just by the good fucking grace of God, I was in the front, so they helped me out. But I knew, and I even told people at nighttime, I said, bro, once the sun go down and the main stage open up, I said, bro, do not go to that fucking, the middle of that fucking crowd because at nighttime, nobody will be able to hear you. Nobody will be, will be able to see you. Some bad gonna happen, bro. And exactly like that, a lot of bad shit happened. A lot of people lost their lives. A lot of people got hurt. So any parents watching this shit, I would advise you to not send your motherfucking kids to no fucking Astro Fest. Let their ass stay at home. That shit was not fun. It was scary as fuck. Like, don't go. And and if that bitch still is open tomorrow, don't see your kids. I really hope that shit get canceled. I know tomorrow this shit gonna be on the news for so. But shit, that's all I gotta say, bro. All right.